and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video I visited Cheatham School of Music in Manchester for the Medieval Festival. As, as you can see here, it's the 600 year anniversary. Whew. I also got a ticket to tour the incredible library and I can't wait to show you that later on. As well as admiring the wonderful buildings, I also took a walk around to see what was going on. There were some musicians playing medieval music. They even taught us some medieval dance moves. There was a falconry tent with the most beautiful birds of prey. I love that name, Hoggle. <laughs> oh, sleepy little baby. <laughs> there was a puppet show. A third time, and she berates him much. <laughs> You dumb off, you done. You took our last three ship to market, you sell them, you get good coin, and you come back with a bag of carrot seeds, fellow. Carrot seeds? What use are carrot seeds to us? There was an area with lots of people at different stalls teaching us all about medieval tapestry, food, and lots of other interesting medieval things. <laughs> I even got to witness a sword fight. There was a fashion show too, demonstrating the different clothes worn in medieval times. I took a look in the baronial hall and wow! It's incredible just how well preserved it was. Look at that ceiling, oh, fantastic. I then walked into the association room, which used to be the school kitchen, and still has the remains of two large fireplaces that would have been used for cooking. This picture shows us what medieval Manchester looked like. And this is a portrait of Humphrey Cheatham, who was responsible for the creation of Cheatham's library, which I'll talk about a bit more when I take you into the library shortly. Ooh, and this is a picture of the grammar school taken around 1920. 
I just want to say how amazing it is to see such wonderfully preserved buildings amongst the ever-growing and incredible city of Manchester. The contrast of architecture is a remarkable thing to witness. It was time! Time to take a tour of the oldest free public library in the English-speaking world. Wow, isn't it just so spectacular? Ooh, I spotted a printing press in the corner. As mentioned earlier, I want to take a little time to talk about Humphrey Cheetham and the history of Cheetham's library. Humphrey Cheetham's fortune was made in the cloth trade. He was a highly successful businessman and in the 1620s began to buy land and property in the Manchester area. In his will, he left a sum of money and instructions to establish a free public library and in 1655, three governors were nominated to choose books, manuscripts and archives for the library. Almost all of the early acquisitions were bought from a single London bookseller and were packed tightly into barrels to protect them on their journey. The collection met the immediate needs of the clergy, lawyers and doctors of Manchester and rivalled existing libraries in Oxford. The original system of alphabetically labelling each press can still be seen on the oak panels today. And the library now holds over 250,000 items and still collects today. There he is, the man who made this incredible library possible. This is one of the original five chained libraries and there are only two that have survived intact. In the summer of 1845, Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels studied at this table, reading 13 volumes of books which went on to change the course of human history. Some of the original copies are on the shelves next to the printing press we saw earlier, and copies of the books have been put on this desk for people to sit and read upon visiting. So this brings us to the end of the library tour. What an incredible building with an equally incredible history. If you would like to learn more about Cheetham's library, I will leave a link down below to a page with lots of information for you to have a read through. Also, if you'd like to tour the library yourself, I will leave a link to the website where you can book to do so. I want to thank everyone involved in the medieval festival at Cheetham School as it was thoroughly interesting and entertaining. And I would also like to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I also hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!